you know, in my unconditioned, un, when I was um, unconscious. Um, and now I'm aware of all the ramifications, and I am, you know, able to, by being aware of it and admitting that, and it, um, it kind of sets you free, and it makes you, it kind of puts you in a bit more um, ability now to correct it a lot more. And then um, mother, just because um, I've always been a mother to even my own mother and my brother and everyone I've come across, I've always been motherly-like. And in my um, astrolog astrological chart, uh, in Cancer, I have uh, my North Node, and North Node means uh, your life's mission or life's purpose for this life. And um, the North Node in Cancer means to nurture the Earth. So it just kind of fit really cool, perfectly. And, I mean, I, I really love uh, a lot of my teachings also come from uh, a fairy tales. That's where I get a lot of my insight with my guides when I watch cartoons. Um, it's been demonized a lot and used, uh, you know, for a lot of negativity, but, I mean, there's also a white side to it as well, yin and yang, right? And so I want to kind of uh, show people how much uh, divinity and insight is in here and how, just how much they're telling you. And... Um, also, like I said, with the work that I do with my dream, with dream realms, um, telling people and helping them how to go from the uh, living nightmare to, you know, uh, more harmonious existence, back to it, like a fairy tale kind of a life, how, we're meant, how it's meant to be, where we are interacting with these beings all the time in a benevolent kind of a way. So. Wow. I think the dream realm is just so amazing and fascinating. You know, we have uh, two long segments coming up. I have some uh, chatters on the interface. Okay, pineal gland, talk about it now. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, but you're going to have to wait, guys, because we're going to roll into break here. Now, Jessica, I'm getting beat up in the text chat here, being called names. You know, I'm a tease. Uh, as I promised, we will move on to the pineal gland topic and uh, DMT so they've been so patiently waiting um, what is the role of the pineal gland in, in this process it's funny because you told me that you were going to give me some time to think about it, and I'm a blonde. I don't think it's a scientific fact. You learn more when you're not thinking. Um, well, what it, <laughs> um, well, what it is is I actually have a, um, a kid's book on my YouTube right now called The Silver Bird. It's not actually like it's disguised as a kid's book, but this is really advanced esoteric teachings of a girl that journeys inside the realm of chakras. And, um, well, this is actually the, the, the pineal gland is, first of all, you have to master your seven rainbow realms in yourself. Okay, and once you do that, then you come, you turn into what is known as a crystal child or a rainbow child, because a crystal is a combination of all the colors, particularly when the light hits it, you know, and it reflects a rainbow on the wall. And once you do that, then you have activated your um, omnipresence, in a sense, where, you know, you're able to, this is how I'm able to do all the things that I do for people. Like, I, I work with, you know, thousands and thousands of people every night, and it's almost like, I, I don't know if I split myself up into many pieces or what, but it's, it's the all-seeing eye. It's... Um, it is the your your it activates yourself has a living vortex a portal into whatever realm you want there is no time and space um and you're just aware 100 percent multi-dimensional nature all the time it is what everyone is you know striving for but is already there if they um just manage to balance all their chakras um, you know, I, I think it's really amazing about the pineal gland, and I don't know, maybe I'm just one of those conspiracy freaks that actually thinks that they fluoridated our water and food and everything on did. You were right. <laughs> so, you know, but uh, of course, well, we know that they did do it on purpose, but let's just say it's an accident. What? Well, and never mind the fact that, of course, DMT, which is produced by our pineal gland, okay, in our own bodies is, of course, illegal. Um, and let's say that wasn't, you know, planned. Um, we just end up with all these uh, deposits on it, blocking the production. What can we do to tap in there despite the outside obstacles, exogenous influences? You have to be able to work with all your chakras in a way where I merge them all my chakras together and I create a rainbow pole and then I make them into a huge ball within myself, a rainbow ball. 
And I speak to my chakras as if they were my friends. I ask each one about, you know, what they represent within myself. And like I said, The Silver Bird is actually um, a book that helps people get to that level as well. Um, and okay. this is just, it's, there's nothing you need to buy. There's nothing like you need to take some kind of purifier, anything like that. You just need to be out in nature. You need to be, you know, with fresh air the best you can. You need to, like, be, be near trees. All of these things can cleanse your body like nothing else. And also just your your mind your and your heart. Like, what's really interesting about um, the pineal gland is it's... Uh, um, that David Wilcock has a write-up about exactly how the pineal gland, I mean, not David, sorry, David Wilcock, um, has a write-up exactly how the pineal gland works. And what he has written, um, confirmed with my guides, is exactly how um, uh, they, my star friends operate uh, their crafts, their beam ships or UFOs, if you want to call it. And um, it's not, um, you know, the speed, we think that the light is the fastest, uh, kind of speed there is, but it's not. There's actually the speed of thought, and even faster than that is the speed of heart intent. So it's um, there's a there's a uh, working um, order with the heart and the pineal gland. When you merge those two together, if you create a, a rainbow bridge, then that you know creates an opening as well. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. Good advice. You know, Jessica, um, we have a caller. So if you don't mind, you ready to take some calls? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, first caller, area code uh, 262. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you. This is Joe. Um, Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. I, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so uh, so interested in this topic. It, uh, it, it really consumes me these days, uh, the quest to get my pineal gland working. Um, it has for quite a while. Um, I have uh, about 12 mercury fillings in my mouth and uh, on eight different molars. Um, and I took a lot of fluoride as a kid. You know, I would drink at the water bubbler. I would just gulp and gulp. You know, it would be at re uh, break time in the halls, and I would just gulp that water down, uh, you know, for like a minute at a time. And uh, what, I'm, uh, what I've learned is that there's a... There's a process in the, of the pineal gland where it becomes calcified when there's an interaction of fluoride and microwaves. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, what I'm what I'm trying to do is I'm working with this stuff called serapeptase. It's uh, an egg, an enzyme from the silkworm, and uh, the silkworm uh, uses it to get through its cocoon. It uh, dissolves dead tissue, and uh, it's supposed to be able to dissolve calcification too. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to learn more about what you're saying about aligning the chakras, and read your book. <laughs> I you. haven't written a book. I don't really want to write a book because it's already every been, thing's already been said. It's not about speaking anymore. It's about a living and and being this in every moment. You know, we have too much written stuff and too much uh, looking for information and insight rather than just living it. <laughs> but um, one thing you can also do as well is. Before you go to sleep, your spirit likes to blast out of your body as soon as you, you, you know, five, like four, three, two, one, four. Hold your spirit with your intent. Say, t keep your spirit in your body for while you sleep and have it focus in um, where the mercury fillings are and also just with the... Um, um, with the, you don't have to worry about the fluoride in your body or all of that because your body is constantly regenerating itself. You're not in the same body from when you were when you were a kid. You know, the cells are all changed. Um, so everything can be uh, neutralized and corrected in the fact that, you know, all these things that we're reading and learning, this can actually hinder us because they're all beliefs. I mean, I do not, like, I don't eat fast food, but I, I don't eat the best either. There, are, I have friends that are, um, you know, raw foodists and vegetarians, and we did an alkaline test, and I have the highest alkaline out of all of them, you know, because it's this mind state I have. It's my, when I, I speak and I uh, change the frequency of everything I eat and everything I, every kind of information I come in contact with as well. And all you do it is just via intent and just being very strong in it, that you're stronger than all this kind of stuff that is bombarded onto you. Wow. Yeah, intent, very powerful. 